Hello and welcome. Today I'll be going over dev update number six, springing into Steam. Uh, this is for the game Palia, as you all probably figured out by now. I'm just going to read through the patch notes, uh, review what's here, and yeah, it's my first time looking at these, so let's get started. Hello, Pallians. Notice something a little different? We've decided to start numbering our updates. Thank God, I've been thinking that too. <laughs> We're shaking it up and changing some things, namely the expected cadence of these updates. Rather than try to stick to a fixed monthly post, we figured let's share these updates when it makes sense. So whether that's one update in a while or several in a row, we didn't want to be beholden to a self-imposed guideline. That said, odds are you can expect to hear from us a bit more frequently. Winky face. Now, with that out of the way, let's talk about it. Steam release and patch 0 0.178. Just in case you haven't heard, Palia is headed to Steam, March 25th. It is just around the corner. And if that wasn't enough, the Steam release will also be bringing in our next patch 0 0.178. Okay, so it looks like they're happening at the same time. Interesting. Everyone at S6 has been hard at work making sure things are ready, whether you're all well-versed Palian, whether you're well-versed Palian already playing on one of our current platforms or looking to check things out for the first time once we're on Steam. We're so excited to welcome everyone home to Palia. In case you haven't uh, sorry, in case you have any questions regarding Palia on Steam and what that entails, be on the lookout for a future blog post which should have some FAQs in store. But we're sure the question, folks. Uh, but we're sure the question folks want answered is what's in store for the next patch? The theme of this patch is all about spring. Okay, let's look at this picture real quick. Um, no idea what I'm looking at. It looks like some kind of ancient human technology, but we will see. We're sure players might have already... Well, I gotta slow down reading. Holy crap. I'm so sorry, guys. We're sure players might have seen signs already of the next temple in store, and that is none other than the Temple of the Roots. One of our goals is... One of, the, one of our goals for the Temple of the Roots was to take into account the experience players had with previous temples and improve based on that feedback with new techniques and approaches to the way the space is built. As always, this will be a new and exciting experience, but should also feel more guided than the Temple of the Gales. Okay, this is huge. Um, my current issue with Temple of the Gales is that I, I literally cannot progress. But even if I could, just what they were asking me to do in that temple was like, it was kind of a pain in the ass, not going to lie. Like the fact that everything was so far apart from each other. And I mean, I really like, like, you know, gliding through the air and just kind of, you know, chilling and enjoying the, the scenery. It was great. It's a beautiful place. But trying to play hide and seek with random inanimate objects and then just like looking around and trying to follow all the quests and stuff it was it was a lot um it, it was definitely a bit uh frustrating i gotta say as an experience for example we added some flowers to indicate that you were in the main area of the temple to help with directions oh thank god <laughs> it'll also be the first time some new mechanics are introduced that we'll be utilizing in future temples and zones Okay, I have no idea, uh, no idea what that could possibly mean, but that's actually really exciting. While we don't want to spoil too much of the story, let's just say fans of Galders will have something to look forward to waiting for them. Ooh. Q. Okay, so the question. Will this be the last temple? No, but we won't say more just yet. Suffice to say, the overarching story of Palia is only just beginning. All right, so for those of you who don't know, Galders are basically um, some of the characters in, in the game. So like uh, uh, Einar and Helka are both Galders. Um, so just FYI for anyone who's not too sure. Updates. Okay, updates to climbing. We've gotten a lot of feedback in regards to climbing in the game. Being able to explore and navigate the world of Palia is an important part of the overall experience. So for the next patch, we'll be adding in the first of several changes behind the scenes that ultimately will result in an improvement to climbing 
and traversal in the game. I really hope so. Um, I'm sure some of you have probably seen my um, silent series on Palia. And I got to say, there's been some really awkward moments where I'm like trying to hop up like you know or climb up a cliff or something and you just see my character just like glitching out in the walls and stuff it's so weird <laughs> so hopefully they fix that the flowers and trees system one of the top most requested features players have had is the addition of more outdoor decor options and we've answered that call with a brand new feature simply put we're calling it flowers and trees but there's nothing simple about it now players can finally decorate your housing plot with a lush array of flora. Insects will have a chance to drop flower seeds, ooh, which you can then plant on your housing plot. Of course, flowers need watering to grow. Your flower will start as a, at a sapling stage and need to be watered alongside some time passing in order to reach its fully grown stage. Oh, wow, that's really weird. It's just like in the ground. It doesn't look like it goes in like any particular plot. That's actually kind of nice. Um, if that is what if my interpretation is correct here, because then you don't have to worry about placing them a specific way. You could just kind of, you know, flower them throughout. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, these are actually I have no idea what kind of flower this is. Um, someone could probably tell me in the comments, but uh it's purple, so it looks cool. I don't know. Uh, really pretty. I'll take it. The thing about Pally and flowers, however, is that they're everlasting. Once they're fully grown, you can pick them up, move them around, and arrange the flowers. And if that wasn't enough, at fully grown flowers, you will have 100% chance to draw one, and note, just one seed of that flower type. Ooh. So it won't be long before you have a lush garden right in your backyard. That is awesome. I look forward to that. You got to have plenty of uh, shrubbery <laughs> in your estate, you know. As for tree seeds, they will still have a chance to drop when you chop down their equivalents in the wild. But we've done a lot of work to freshen up the experience as you plant the seed. Trees have four stages and like flowers will also need water and time to pass as they go through each stage. At any stage, though, you can choose to stop growing the tree if you're a fan of a particular look. They can still be chopped down at any point, too, for resources. Ooh. That's interesting. Um, okay, so it's just showing, like, the tree slowly growing. Oh, wow. So, the thing... Okay, so... I have mixed feelings about this, because on one hand... I like that the tree finally has like a dirt mound underneath it. Like that wasn't a thing before. But on the other hand, this is kind of a nerf to trees because right now as it stands, the way the trees work, um, you get the seeds. So like, let's say I get an acorn, right? And I'm going to plant the acorn. I plant the acorn and the tree just appears. You know, I just place it on the ground wherever I want. And then boom, the tree appears. Uh, it looks like here... Uh, now you're just going to have slowly growing trees over time that you're going to have to water and all that. Um, honestly, I think it's a shame you have to water them in a way because it would be really cool if like we had weather effects at all, like in the game. Like it'd be cool if like, you know, a, uh, every once in a while it would just rain at your plot so you don't have to go back and water it. And it'd be cool if like you knew it was raining there. Um but, I mean, that would also require us having weather effects throughout the entire game. That'd be really nice, but I don't really foresee that happening anytime soon unless they specifically mention it here, but we'll see. Spring Fever Decor Set. In order to celebrate the new flowers and the tree system being added, we're also adding in a fresh outdoor-themed set. Oh, okay. All right. So it looks like we have a little bit of a fire pit here. We have a... Ooh, that's a cute little wagon. I think we already have one wagon. I don't know if it's like part of the makeshift set or what. I can't remember, but I'm, I thought we had another wagon already. Uh, I could be wrong, but this does look nice. Uh, this swinging chair thing is really, really cool. I love this. I cannot... I hope that you can dye this because this looks so cool. Uh, we have 
I think this is like a trellis here. Yeah, you have a trellis here. You have like another thing here as well. Um, oh, looks like we have a few trellises then. And then it looks like we have a nice little, what is this, like an out, this is like a kettle. I think that's like a kettle. We have a weird pile of rocks right here. That's kind of uh, peculiar. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. But if we look here, these rocks are like kind of stacked on top of each other. That's like really odd looking. And it looks like we have a floor lamp that's kind of simple. Uh, looking at the stuff here and like the frames on this, I kind of wonder if this is going to use iron maybe. And this right here, I want to say is probably also intentionally part of the photo. I wonder if this is going to be like a flower bed now. Like, I wonder if we're going to have like a flower bed, uh, out, uh, sorry, like a, a thing to outline the flower beds. If, if that's true, if that's what this is, this is going to look really cool. Um, Wow, I'm really looking forward to this. And it looks like on top here, we have some flowers hanging. I wonder if like it comes with the flowers that hang over it or if you have to choose your flowers and then grow it on there. Um, oh, look, see on the right side here, we also have a better uh, picture of it, actually. The uh, the flower bed uh, edging that I was talking about is what I think this is. Um, yeah, this is actually really cool. I love this. All right, moving on. We can't wait to see some wonderful screenshots of the kind of backgrounds Pallians will make with these new additions. Wedding gown and suit outfits. Weddings and spring often go hand in hand, which is why we're introducing two new wedding themed outfits with some unique effects. There's a special interaction when multiple players have the outfit equipped and are gathered together. Flowers will grow in bloom with more appearing when up to five players with these outfits are nearby. What? Oh my god, look at that! Wow! This is really interesting. And it, I don't know if these are like... I assume these are not dyed. Um, I find it really interesting how like the wedding stuff is not like white. Uh, I actually kind of like that in a sense because... I mean, different cultures use different colors too. So it's kind of interesting to like look at this. Um, uh, that, is, that is actually really cool. I like how... I like, I don't know, something about it. It's just, I like the, the fact that, like, the flowers on the ground and stuff, like, man, I cannot wait to see that in action. That's going to look so freaking cool. That's awesome. This is probably, if I had to guess, this is probably going to be a set we have to buy, but I don't see anything saying that here, so I'm kind of wondering. I don't know. Frogbert. It's not too late yet to wishlist Pallia on Steam, if you haven't already, and our Frogbert wishlist campaign is still underway. We were so excited to see the community's reaction. All the really fun memes and references to Frogbert have been incredible to see. That's why we've decided to include an additional gift to Pallians in the form of... Huh? What's that? Why do I hear boss music? Oh my god. This? Look how big he is! Haha, <laughs> just kidding. We might have gotten a little too carried away. That said, <laughs> okay, that was a, that was funny. That said, if we do reach our end goal of five hundred thousand wish lists, we might be able to accommodate something like that. We know uh, to comment something that we know players are sure to love, and then shows like a little froggy. Well, wow, that was a lot. Of course, there's just a handful of all these incredible things we're adding into 0 0.178. There's more in store, and we can't wait for players to check it all out, out uh, alongside our Steam launch. Other cool stuff for the future. Last but not least, we want to share some additional teases we have for future content beyond 0 0.178. Take a look. Building blocks. Okay, hold on. Palia in development. Wow, I don't think I've seen anything that they're like in development, you know, like as far as like a roadmap kind of thing. Now, this isn't a roadmap, it doesn't look like, um, but I don't think I've seen anything like this before from them. So this is kind of exciting. Building blocks. Get creative with building blocks and structural decor. Oh my God, we've become Minecraft. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, this is really cool. Um... This kind of reminds me of like FF14 in a way with the building style, like how you can just like put things a certain way. And well, I mean, this is a little bit more extreme than what I'm used to seeing, but that that is interesting. 
on the right hand side here it says here pathways and walkways add flair to your home with wooden and stone path options this is great this is lovely i love wow look at this we have a plank we have some cobblestones we have some uh tree stumps we got some brick and then on the left side here that's kind of chopped off we have something else going on and on the right we have it looks like circles like stone circles this is interesting you can't really see it because it's like kind of blocked off by the text but i see it you can't hide from me <laughs> new housing blueprint level up your home with the latest housing layout and add-ons oh wow so i'm looking so this looks like a harvest house and then you have this porch is new i've never seen that porch before um something else that's really interesting is this a second floor are we getting a second floor If that's if that's the case, that would be awesome. The reason why I wonder this is because look how high up this this um uh like this archway here where it is normally it'd be like right here, I think, and then the house would just kind of go like this, like down here. So between that porch and seeing windows up here on the side makes me think we're going to see a second floor that if if that's true based on this picture and what i'm seeing now i could be wrong right but if that's true that is huge like i already don't know what to do with the space in my house imagine having a second floor this would this would actually give me a reason to decorate my other homes like i have two other or three other uh housing plots um and I, I just thinking about it like wow that that's amazing friendship level five wow i wonder what kind of rewards you can get past level four like what kinds of things would they actually give you i wonder map grid oh oh that's huge so now okay so the way the way that directions work in the game right now is that if let's say you're trying to call out the location of something let's say you find a flow tree uh near like whispering banks right you could be like like in the chat well you would flare it first in the chat you would type something along the lines of uh ft whispering banks green flare right and then people just know what that means they'd be like okay and if you don't go to that area like let's say you want to be more specific like let's say it's not so close from like where the the name of the place is uh which can happen a lot in bahari bay um so like the outskirts for example you could say something like uh northeast outskirts ft uh red flare or you know orange flare or whatever um so that's how that would work i i like the idea of being able to have a map grid i'm worried that the grid that i'm seeing here is not fine enough i think it's a little bit too i think the squares are too big i'm gonna be honest i think the squares are too big because like this is a lot of space you know in between each square like that's a lot of area so i wonder how that's gonna work or you know what it could be that could just be like a visual thing but i wonder if you're going to be able to do what you can in like for example like ff14 where you take the coordinates of the grid and uh let's say you flag it on your map and then all you do in the chat is you type in you know um something you could just tell them whatever it is and then you can uh i think use like a flag command if i remember correctly it's been a while since i've done it but you basically like ping the flag in the chat so what happens is that people can see the location like the coordinates in the chat it'll pop up automatically like it'll automatically generate it basic basically um you know based on the location that you place your your personal flag on your own map and other players can click on that location and their map would automatically open and show the exact pinpoint location of where you linked. I really hope that's what we get here. I hope they don't try to do some kind of like weird convoluted system to try and get this to work. I hope that they just do like the same thing that is done in like FF14. Like I'm not saying that this game has to be FF14. Obviously they're within different genres 
uh, except for maybe like the private island, I think is kind of similar in a way. But I mean, it's just a, a better way of navigation, I think. So I really hope that's what they decide to do here. Uh, and let's we'll see an ammo pouch. I I like the idea of an ammo pouch because right now, currently, with every type of ammo you have, now I hope that the ammo pouch isn't just for hunting stuff. I hope it's also for the bug gear, um, like so the bug bombs and things like that. Because the thing is, right now as it stands, let's say I have like three different types of arrows I want to keep on me, right? Currently, that takes up three inventory spots on my hotbar, like in my you know, present inventory with an ammo pouch. All of that should in theory, take up just one. That would be a really, really nice quality of life change. I think out of all the things I see here, what I'm most excited for is probably the ammo pouch and the pathways and walkways, because I really want something like that. We don't have anything like that in the game currently. Uh, I think the pathways and walkways, like, it'll allow me to do a lot more with my yard. Because right now, I feel like my yard doesn't really, like, serve a... Like, it, it serves a practical purpose, but it doesn't, like, have any visual, like, intricacies to it that makes it visually interesting. Um, so, I really... I think that this is, uh, this is really just a nice quality of life thing. Now, of course, like, having a second story house would be cool, but I'm also not, like... I mean, you have so much access to housing in this game that I'm not worried about that as much, but I can see why people would be really hyped for it, if that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, really cool. That's all you get though. More details will be shared in future notices, so please look forward to it. Q&A. And finally, a last section to round up some additional FAQs we've seen from players. Uh, the Maji Market is an event that comes back twice per year. Oh, sorry, I miss. I didn't even read the question. Wow. How often will the Maji Market come back? All right, twice a year. There are two different themes. You'll see a more traditional version during the Luna New Year and then a more casual form sometime around late summer or early fall. What remains the same and what changes will vary, but please note that we'll continue to bring back, rotate, and add new rewards with each regular appearance. Nice. Is there a reason why certain bugs take such a long time to get fixed? We are doing our best to resolve issues, but there are a lot of uh, a lot more processes and things involved, especially when it comes to a multiplayer game that is cross-platform compatible. Some things that might appear like simple bugs might not have easy fixes or things that develop that require more effort to resolve properly. That is to say, we greatly value and wish to resolve bugs, but sometimes it is not so simple, so we appreciate players for being patient and understanding. I'm surprised they even asked that question, to be honest. I mean, the game is in beta. <laughs> like, I don't know what people are expecting. That's kind of funny that that was like a question they answered. Are there plans to expand the current community features? Will the max membership cap be raised? Ooh. Okay, so the community features they're talking about is basically like the in-game guilds. Um, I have one, but I have no one in it. So <laughs> feel free if you want to join, just let me know. Yes to both. Though at this time, we don't quite have more details to share. It's something we know many players would love to see more social features and community that is uh is a great avenue for w uh that with lots of room to be expanded we look forward to sharing more with you all soon tm <laughs> that's funny why is the max number of friends currently capped at 200 due to some technological limitations we have set the cap at 200 please note the cap actually applies to include pending requests so make sure to clear those out if you need a little bit more space. That is all for now. See you with the Steam launch. Wow, that was one hell of a patch, I gotta say. Uh, very exciting. Lots of cool stuff. Um, I think I pretty much said everything I wanted to say uh, going through here, but I, I think something that's going to be really interesting to play around with is definitely going to be the flowers and uh, them growing over time. Uh, I really, really, I, I look forward to the um, Temple of the Roots as well. I just want to see what the heck that is. Uh, but yeah, if they, fi if they fix the climbing in this game, I think that we're going to be going places, like literally. <laughs> 
all right guys thank you so much for stopping by and, and uh checking out my video for those of you who don't know my name is shilo q i'm a shilo east quaintly reaper and guide to the underworld i stream three times a week on tuesday wednesdays and thursdays at five o'clock p.m pst that's usually my normal schedule but every once in a while i have to change it up for whatever reason so uh, i do post my schedule weekly on the community tab so feel free to go check that out and as always shilo out